Hey guys, this is Ultra still here, and we're continuing the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Alright, so, last part, we uh, started this dungeon, and we had access to this rare amount of fire. And by the way, uh, this blue fire, which can melt uh, red ice, is actually pretty uh, pricey, so if you if you go ahead to the to that uh, cellar that's in Kakariko Village, is like near the shop, they'll have like a green shirt. If you sell this uh, fire to him, He'll give you like 150 rupees for each batch, so you might want to take some home for, or take some in the village, uh, you know, to make some money. It's a good way to get money. But just a FYI there. And here we have some annoying bets. Let's go ahead and uh, kill them, shall we? Alright, so that's one, two, and you're not a bat, but I'm going to kill you anyway. Alright, so let's see. Let's go to it. And uh, in this dungeon, uh, or in this part of the dungeon, uh, there's some more silver rupees as you see, and there's also a block here which we're gonna get to soon. Alright. So let's go ahead and uh, move this block around. Basically, what you wanna do with it is you wanna. Oh, there's a silver rupee over there. You wanna push it around so that way you can get to certain silver rupees. And. Uh, yeah, if you like mess up, don't worry. All you have to do is uh, just push off the cliff, and then it'll respawn, and then you can try again. So, no worries, right? So there's one silver rupee here, and uh, there's a blue fire flame over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, over there. So uh, once we use a few more, uh, we're gonna restock. Right, so let's move that block there. All right, so let's push that over there. Let's get that silver rupee. That's another one. I think we can... Yeah, we, we don't want to fall down there. The block can fall down there, but definitely not us. That wouldn't be too great. <laughs> Alright. And if you use the Song of Time, you can get some of those red rupees right there, and you, you'll have like a time block. Let's see if we can go ahead and make a jump over there. Right, sweet. Just great. So there's more blue fire here. Doing pretty good. Alright, so since we got uh, the blue fire right there, uh, now we have to now all we have to do is just push that block over there to get a good entrance point. Because we can't uh, make it, you know, without this block. We need the extra reach. So yeah, key thing about this dungeon, try to have as much blue fire with you as possible. Trust me, because you're going to bump into a lot of these uh, red, red uh, ice walls. And... Stupid dog, you made me look bad! Ooga booga! Alright, there, dead. Yeah, those uh, wolf elves are like extremely easy if you just hit them in the back, like literally right when they turn. So uh, yeah, no biggie. Let's see what we got. This is very strange. We got oh, you got the iron boots. So heavy you can't run. So heavy you can't float. We meet again. If you came here to meet the uh, Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception. The Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice. But she left to head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the temple is the source of the curse. The water temple to be exact. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, 
I will teach you the melody that reads to the temple. Time passes. People move. Like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects growth. Now, listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. You have learned the serenade of water. Link, I'll see you again. Ouch. So yeah, that was an interesting uh, dungeon. So yeah, it was pretty small. We came all this way just for this. But it's worth it, because uh, with this uh, new item, we can walk on your water. But uh, unfortunately, we have a... Gr uh, we can't really breathe underwater, so it's kind of short-lived. So make sure uh, you don't stay underwater too long. <laughs> so pretty much we got everything in the, in the mini dungeon. So yeah, we got all the gold scotulas, we got the heart piece, we got everything. So unfortunately, this was not the water temple where the uh, medallion was. So we're going to have to go out and find the actual temple that that uh, water medallion is. Or, no, is. Alright, so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and dive down here really quick. Let's see if we can find something. Test out these new boots. So yeah, as you see, you can't uh, breathe for that long. So whatever you want to do, make sure you do it quick. Otherwise, if you run out of time, then you drown and die. So don't do that. Got this part. Alright, so we got what we needed, so let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Alright. Intermission. Alright. So yeah, that's kind of one of the annoying things when you're trying to reach back up to the surface. It takes a while to get back, so... Yeah. Alright, so uh, make sure when you, uh, you know, leave that temple, you make sure you get a few more uh, blue fires and you'll see why. If we unmelt the king, since we have the special kind of fire, check this out. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. I got the blue tunic, also known as the Zora tunic. This diving suit is an adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Wear it, and you won't drown underwater. So yeah, we got another tunic, and uh, this allows us to be underwater. So now that takes care of the you know, iron boots combo, so we can, so when we explore the water with the suit and the iron boots, we can stay there underwater as long as we'd like, so, uh, you want to make sure you give that to the king, and uh, over here, there's another blue fire we can get, you'll find an interesting little shop over here, wait, so yeah, uh, once you get the blue tunic officially, you know, from the Zora guy, uh, you can buy it again if you lose it or something from over here. And there's some fish and potions and, you know, other stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, we completed all that. And uh, bef and before we uh, go to the water temple, which, uh, you know, that song we learned from Sheik, uh, that's, you know, they'll take us there. Uh, before we go to the water temple, there's actually one more side quest that I want to do. And this one's a little hard. 
But I'll demonstrate it in the next parts. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching my content. Uh, in the next step or in the next episode, I'm gonna meet you guys in Goron City because I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate something. So I'll meet you guys in the next part. Take care, peace, good night, and have a good day. Take care.